in order to capture some of the opportunities uh, the analytics have to offer you, you really need to do that in a cloud infrastructure. Welcome back to the Bankers Masterclass series in association with Kasha Bank, looking at digital transformation in banking. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor of The Banker, and I'm here with Mariona Vicenz, Director of Strategic Development and Innovation at Kasha Bank. In this chapter, we're going to look at the disruptive technologies that are impacting financial services, including artificial intelligence, blockchain, and cloud technology. Mariona, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, what do you think, how is artificial intelligence really changing how banks can serve their clients? Uh, right now we already see uh, artificial intelligence impacting the way we serve our customers in two uh, very concrete ways. First of all, it is allowing us to harness value from the data in a way we could not do before. And secondly, we see more and more uh, new developments in terms of new solutions that allow us to assist both employees and customers uh, in, in different ways. Uh, if we focus in machine learning applied to how we use it to analyze data, what we see is that we can improve significantly the way we develop our risk models and the targeting uh, of our offers as well as our marketing campaigns, for example. We are also experimenting and see a lot of value in being able to use machine learning in uh, exploiting data that we could not uh, use before. Uh, we have examples uh, in, in a structured data, like the way we can analyze text or even images. And this would not be possible without uh, the development of artificial intelligence linked together with big data, of course. Mm -hmm. um, in new applications and solutions, what we also see is the potential in virtual assistants that you may have in your mobile or in your web channel and uh, you would be able to interact in a pretty friendly way with this assistance. We already have some examples uh, like Siri in our daily lives and I think we are going to see more and more this type of solutions uh, also apply to banking for example. Okay and I know Kasha Bank is doing some work with IBM Watson. What are you doing with them? So our uh, relationship with IBM and Watson is actually uh, quite long now. Uh, we started uh, before IBM decided to bring Watson uh, into Spanish and when they decided that they wanted to develop Watson in a different language rather than English, they asked us for some help in providing them a use case and work with us in bringing the technology into Spanish. So we started working, working sorry, with IBM Labs in helping them in tuning the technology and what we did was an application to help our employees uh, to assist them when dealing with products and processes related to trade finance. Uh, that's a complex process and a complex product to, to sell to our business and corporate uh, segment. And uh, it was pretty much well received for our employees. What we then uh, did with IBM is help them to identify improvements they could do in the technology to make it easier to scale it up. The main challenge for the technology is uh, still the training process uh, you go through. And right now we are basically helping them in that front and also trying to see how we scale up the technology in the bank. We are working in bringing the technology uh, to all our employees as a cognitive call center. So when, custom, uh, when customers or employees have a question uh, instead of uh, just calling the call center, they can have a virtual assistant that can help us through the process. And hopefully they don't have to end up calling uh, the call center. Okay. Um, and let's switch to another new technology, which is blockchain. There's a huge amount of hype around blockchain. Mm -hmm. Where do you think it will make the biggest impact on um, banking and financial services? As you just mentioned, we, we really see blockchain having a lot of potential in disrupting basically the way uh, bank processes and the infrastructure we are using, it's going to work in the future. Um, but having said that, we still see some challenges that need to be overcome to really capture the opportunities of the technology. In terms of uh, potential, um, there are two main areas. The first one being 
uh, where we still have intermediaries or where we also have a lot of manual checks in processes. And in here we have concrete examples like uh, international payments that still carry significant amount of work and it's not in real time. Um, as one area of potential application. We also see it will have an impact in helping uh, regulators and also institutions to gain transparency in certain markets. And then, for example, it may be useful concretely in understanding the, the reuse of certain asset. Um, but both applications or the type of applications that are really disruptive uh, in the use of blockchain require a fair amount of collaboration among institutions and also among uh, institutions and regulators. So it may take th some time to materialize really the benefits uh, that we see that you can obtain from the technology. Okay. In cloud computing, that's another area which is, is seeing greater uptake. What do you think is the uh, some of the main barriers still that apply to cloud computing? Uh, so cloud is it's been there for a while. Uh, we, we see barriers, but I also want to be positive and optimistic because we see how the technology is developing to overcome those barriers. But we still see security is one of the major concerns. The fact that banks need to move data outside their own data centers. And in some cases, uh, we have constraints or questions from regulators depending on where the data centers are located. And it, it, it requires a change also in the regulator uh, to be to be fully capable to capture all the opportunity that cloud has to offer. So we still have security. It's getting better. Technology is providing us new solutions like private cloud and hybrid cloud, but, but we still have some limitations. The second challenge we face, and this is linked to big data and analytics, is the integration of cloud analytics specifically with transactional systems. Uh, this is not yet solved and it also uh, slows down the application of cloud analytics in certain areas of, of the bank, for example. And the third one, which I think it's more recent, is about governance of cloud. Because we are all using uh, probably different clouds and also different type of clouds between public, private, hybrid. Then we also need to think uh, which will be the architecture and infrastructure to manage the, all these platforms. And this is also something that it's being developed right now. So it will take some time still to, to finalize the discussion and to capture all the potential. Yeah, but then you also talk about the opportunity of cloud. So what would you say is the biggest opportunity? I think uh, cloud gives you a level and amount of flexibility uh, and, and Going back to our first discussion in artificial intelligence, some of the analytics right now you would never be able to implement on premises because of the amount of data it requires or the cost it is going to have. It is going to have if you want to develop that on premises. It's just not efficient. Uh, so, in in order to capture some of the opportunities, uh, the analytics have to offer you. You really need to do that in a cloud infrastructure. Okay. Uh, and my last question is around, uh, outside of these new technologies, what sort of needs to be done to help banks transform themselves? I think it's all linked together a little bit, but uh, together with the technology, uh, you require or you need a new set of capabilities. You need to incorporate new talent and uh, people that is a specialist in areas that are new to the bank. And then more and more we see the need of new ways of working uh, cross teams. Also, I would say much more collaboration and working together between traditional business teams and technology teams, which is already happening also in other industries. That would probably be the main two changes you need to couple together with technology. Great. Thank you so much, Mariana. Thank you.